Hello YouTube, I fix it all here. Around the beginning of this episode of uh, restoration for this Carmen Ghia, I mentioned I sprayed my Bronco frame rails without doing any wire brushing. This has been, oh yeah, there's that. That whole scrap heap there. So, I didn't do any wire wheeling at all. I just shot it in there. So, you can see the evidence of people as you look at the runny marks on that frame rail. I even hit up the exhaust pipes. It wasn't really after nothing huge. I just wanted to see what it would do. Now that I know that it does this, I might pay attention to the Bronco frame rails now. Um, I put uh, some of this phosphoric acid in a few different places on this truck. Let's see if the other side will show up. Oh, raspberry. How's it going? Uh, not enough light in here. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, of course the Bronco needs some work. It runs fine. Alrighty. Back to the matters at hand. Flash over questions. There's our weather. And, what is it, 22nd of July, 2019. It's been rainy here. Um... That's kind of showing evidence of flashing over. But of course, if I had put more effort into it, then perhaps I might have gotten a better solution. So there's half the shovel handle versus the other half. That's still chooching along. This is an interesting piece of steel. I don't even know what it is. But... That, ooh, I can't even name. That right there matched that. Now that's clean. That was done yesterday. Flash over questions. Haven't done nothing to this area, which was interesting. Um, you guys remember the previous videos, and if not, go back and look at them. Anywho, we're going back on to this because we have just made another milestone. We've finished all of our sanding and wire brushing tasks. So now I'm going to be laying phosphoric acid through the areas that have this surface rust look to them. And... Trying to capture the areas. Maybe someone wants to do a before and after screenshot. That was a surprising amount of rust up in that corner there. Surface rust. Wonder if it has anything to do with what we found under the glove box here, which was a little patch of rust. Which could be fueled by the word leak that my wife wrote. Which could be why the water ran down and pooled. I have no idea. I'm no expert. Let me pause the video like I've tried so many times before. And then we will see what happens with my coming back after the acid's been shot. Alrighty, we're about 10 minutes into the first. I, I think I've got a first and a second coat um, while I was on pause. What I'll do is show you what's going on here. Nothing bad. It's all going pretty good. I'm going to try to uh, 
capture everything I can. It's all soaking wet, so it's really not a fair assessment, but I need to knock off the video. But it is starting to show some disappearing rust. And I think I'll focus on that area up there. And then for the other side, I will try to make this area my major focus for results. So just so you know, <clears throat> this stuff does not dry quick like on its own, if sprayed in an environment that is enclosed. I came out today and there were phosphoric acid droplets on the ceiling. Believe it or not, none of that's rust. It's overspray primer from Resto from 2000. This car's been